Hello and welcome. In this screencast I will show you how to use the first version of JFrog IntelliJ IDEA plugin. This plugin was created to allow the developers an easy integration with JFrog tools from within their IDE. We have planned to integrate all of our products, JFrog Artifactory, JFrog X-Ray and JFrog Bintray into IntelliJ IDEA. In the first version of the plugin it works with JFrog X-Ray to provide you with critical insights about the licenses and the security vulnerabilities of your dependencies in Maven project. In order to use the plugin we obviously need to install it first. From the preference screen of IntelliJ uh, we will go to plugins and then search for JFrog. The plugin is found in the remote plugin repository of JetBrains. After downloading and installing the plugin, we will need to restart IntelliJ IDEA in order to activate it. There is one more step we need to take before we can see the components. JFrog Extra Configuration screen, new in the Preferences menu, is the place to enter the connectivity details to the server. After entering the URL and the credentials, we can test the connection using the text connection button. Now we can open the JFrog pane and see the tree of components that correspond to our Maven dependencies. We can focus on the component and see the details, such as component ID, package type, and the licenses, and the vulnerabilities if such is found. We can also filter by those parameters, let's say I only want to see components with Apache 2 license. Filtering by vulnerabilities won't yield any results. I don't have any vulnerable components as dependencies at the moment, but let me introduce one right away. After adding the dependencies made in POMXML, IntelliJ fetches the dependency from the defined repository, which is an Artifactory instance with X-Ray connected. Once the artifact is downloaded to Artifactory from a remote repository, X-Ray scans the artifacts, finds the vulnerability, and reports it back to the developer directly in their IDE. Here, now I have a dependency with the listed vulnerability. I can see the details, such as the severity in the description, so now I'd better delete it and use a safer alternative. You can find more details about the plugin on its home page, which others you can see now on the screen. And as I mentioned, this is only the beginning. IntelliJ plugin will soon work with more JFrog products and for our Eclipse users, an Eclipse plugin is coming soon as well. Thank you. Feel free to subscribe to JFrog YouTube channel to get notifications about future screencasts, webinars, conference session recording and other videos.